Hi there, welcome to my world of wonderful cooking and today on the menu I have Indo-Chinese appetizer called Gobi Manchurian. So let's head into the kitchen. So kg cauliflower, cut in small florets and now we'll go ahead and make the batter. In my bowl I have half a cup of all-purpose flour, that's maida and I'm going to go ahead and add three tablespoons of corn flour. So three tablespoons of corn flour, we'll mix it in and add our spices. And for spices, I'm going to use salt, red chili powder, and black pepper powder. As per taste, salt, I'm adding one teaspoon. Red chili powder, half a teaspoon. And half a teaspoon black pepper powder. Mix everything well. And to make batter, add some water. Now the batter should not be too thick or too thin and it should not have any lumps. So just add water. Ready, you can see not too thick, not too thin. And that's exactly what we want and we should not have any lumps in it. And now we'll go ahead and dip our cauliflower pieces in it and instead of deep frying them, I'm going to pan fry them. I have two tablespoons of oil heating up here in the wok and and we'll go ahead and dip our cauliflower pieces in the batter that we have made and put them in the pan. So coating the cauliflower pieces with the batter. And we'll pan fry them. We'll fry them until they are golden brown. So our cauliflower florets are frying. We'll turn them once one side is done so that all sides are nicely done. Now pan fry does take a little longer than deep frying your cauliflower florets but it's a little bit healthier so I prefer this over deep frying. And as you can see your cauliflower florets are turning golden. So we'll take them out and put the next batch in. Simply we'll take them out gravy part. Here in my wok I have two tablespoons of oil heating up and we'll go ahead and add one green chili chopped and three four cloves of garlic minced. I'm adding our garlic and green chilies and we'll let them fry. We are also using one large chopped onion. We have sliced our onion in thin long pieces like this and green peppers. Chilies and garlic are frying, so we'll go ahead and add our onions. Stir them in. And once onion starts turning a little golden, we'll go ahead and add our green peppers. Followed by our spices, seasoning. Our onion has started to change color. We'll go ahead and add green pepper. Stir it in and we don't want to get our green peppers tender we still want to maintain their crispiness so we'll give them a minute or two green pepper has been sauteing for two minutes so we'll go ahead and add our sauces now so one tablespoon of soy sauce we'll add that in one tablespoon of vinegar tablespoon of tomato sauce gives a nice tangy flavor sweet and sour stir it in and now we'll go ahead and add our salt and black pepper and if you wish half a teaspoon of red chili powder pepper two teaspoons of salt and we'll add our gobi pieces that are coated with flour our gobi blend it in well and we'll cook it on high heat 
Now, if you want dry gobi manchurian, this is gonna be great. But if you want a little bit of gravy, go ahead and add one cup of water in which we have one tablespoon of corn flour. And that's what I'm gonna add right now. So, so I have one cup of water with one tablespoon of corn flour that's what i'm going to add in gives a nice thickness to the gravy makes nice consistency add it in we'll stir everything well together and cover it and give it five minutes delicious gobi manchurian is ready you can serve it as a side dish with noodles with fried rice and just before serving sprinkle it with some green onions and serve it hot so enjoy, make this dish tonight, let me know how it turns out for you and don't forget to subscribe to E.T. Stimnian and I will bring around another exciting recipe for you so please do keep watching.